Hey guys, this is just a real quick tutorial on how to use a sign chart. And uh, sign charts come up all the time in pre-calculus and calculus with different, different things that you are investigating or looking at, like where graphs are increasing, decreasing, where they're below zero, where they're above zero. Uh, if you're taking um, derivatives of things or second derivatives, sign charts help you find critical points. And, and again, we just want to know um, kind of where things are positive and negative as far as function goes. So what you need to do with a sign chart, we've got two examples here. One, always factor everything out that you've got for your particular problem. So in this case we're working with uh, quadratics. It, it may not always be a quadratic shape like this. Um, you may have a greatest common factor to uh, factor out. Um, but with this guy, if I'm, if I'm looking for a sign chart on this guy, I'm going to break this down by factoring it to be um, x minus 6, x plus 1. And if I want to know where this graph is positive, negative, or equal to 0, then um, I'm going to set this guy equal to 0, set this guy equal to 0, and solve it out. So x equals 6 and negative 1. These, these would be critical points for our sign chart. And how we use them is we're going to make the, a good old-fashioned number line like we did in third grade and we're going to label these vertical lines in order with the two zeros that we just discovered because when you're using a sign chart you're really really interested in what's going on as far as how the function is behaving whether it's positive negative or zero increasing decreasing constant um, if you're in calculus you're looking for concavity so this is how we find those things and once you have your uh, number line ready to go, put your x minus 6 and your x plus 1, the two factors for your um, function over here to the left. And then we're just going to ask, hey, I'm going to take a number less than negative 1, like say negative 2. And I'm going to put negative 2 right in here for x. So I'm going to do negative 2 minus 6. Now, I don't care what the number is for negative 2 minus 6. I care what the sign S-I-G-N is. And in this case, my sign is negative, so I'm just going to note that that's a negative sign. Then I'm going to pick a number like 0. 0 is between negative 1 and 6. It's from this middle area. I'm going to put 0 in. So, so right here where I've got a negative 2, I'm going to take negative 2 off. I'm going to put 0 in. 0 minus 6. Is that positive or negative? He is also negative. And then I'm going to take off 0, and I'm going to put in a number that's larger than 6, like 7, and you can pick any number from this area, okay? Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick 7, so 7 from this side, and when I put 7 in here, 7 minus 6 is positive. So I get a negative, a negative, and a positive. That's what this particular part of my function looks like. Now, with doing the same thing, we're going to use these numbers in my bottom equation. So when I when I put a negative 2 in here, negative 2 plus 1, that's going to be a negative number. Okay? And then take out that negative 2 and put in 0. So 0 plus 1, that's going to be a positive number. Uh, take out that 0 and put in a 7. So a 7 plus 1 is going to be a positive number. Again, with a sign chart, we're not interested in what the actual number is going to be. There's too many to pick. We want to know what the sign of the graph is going to be. Okay, so now think about when you learned uh, old school style multiplication rules. A negative times a negative is a positive. A positive times a positive is a positive. And a positive times a negative is a negative. So remember what we're doing. We're saying this number right here times this number right here. So we've got to follow those rules. Well, if both of those numbers are negative, then I'm going to have a positive number. If, both, if one of those numbers is negative and one is positive, I'm going to have a negative number. And if both of those numbers are positive, I'm going to have a positive number. Well, what does this tell us? It depends on what class you're in. In pre-calculus, this tells us where we're above or below the x-axis. I have positive y values for... Uh, for x values less than negative 1, I have negative y values between negative 1 and 6, and I have positive y values for numbers greater than 6. 
if we're in calculus and we're looking at derivatives, I know where I'm decreasing or where I'm, I'm increasing, where I'm decreasing, and where I'm increasing again. Or if we're looking at a second derivative, I know where I'm concave up, concave down, concave up. So uh, sign charts can be used for a lot of different things. They're very, very handy, and they're just they're not super complicated to do. Uh, let's work through another example here. So again, we want to factor everything first because we need to know uh, what's going on. And so this is going to be x plus 10, x plus 2. And down here, this is going to be x minus 2, x plus 2, x plus 2. And so for this chart, sign chart, then we're going to have a few more things because what makes our zeros on this sign chart and again, we want to list them all in order. There's now three of them. Look, two is used twice. Here's two, here's two. He's used twice, that's okay. So the things that I'm really uh, interested in, I'm interested in negative 10, I'm interested in negative two, and I'm interested in positive two. So I'm gonna have those three zeros And again, it's best if you list them off in numerical order. It gives you a better sense of what's going on. Okay. And then uh, la label these guys out. So I'm going to have x plus 10. Now we need to label all our factors here, okay? Um, I'm going to have x plus 2. I'm going to have x minus 2. And let me move all these guys up a little bit. And I'm going to have uh, the other x plus 2. I've got to list everything here because, that, remember, they all multiply together to give us whatever sign we're looking for. All right, here we go. Pick a number less than 10, let's say negative 11. We could pick a number between negative 10 and 2, say negative 5. We could pick a number between two, negative 2 and 2, let's say 0. And bigger than 2, we could say 3. So... When I put negative 11 in to this guy right here, negative 11 in for this guy right here, okay, then what I'm going to have is a negative number. And then when I put negative 5 in, I'm going to have a positive number. And then when I put 0 in, it's positive. And then when I put 3 in, it's positive. There's my top row. Then take negative 11 and put it into this guy right here. Negative 11 plus 2. What is that? That's going to be negative. Negative 5 plus 2, negative. 0 plus 2, positive. 3 plus 2, positive. Now, again, negative 11 in here for this guy, negative 11. So that's going to be negative 11 minus 2. Negative 11 minus 2 is going to be negative. Negative 5 minus 2 is negative. 0 minus 2 is negative. 3 minus 2 is positive. And then the last guy right here, put all these values in that we've got in blue, okay? So negative 11 plus two, negative. Negative five plus two, negative. Zero plus two, positive. And three plus two, positive. So here's our sign chart. And again, we, we don't care about the specific value uh, of, of the numbers in these areas. We just wanna know, do we get a positive number or a negative number? Now, go through and multiply things out. If I take a negative times a negative, that's a positive. And if I take a negative times a negative, that's a positive. And so I'm going to end up with, on this guy with a positive value. Okay? What about right here? We're going to end up negative. Why? Well, if you have an odd number of negative signs, you're going to have a negative number. Same thing for this guy. Looky here. He's also going to be negative. And then right here, this guy right here is all positive all the time. So, again, if we're looking in a pre-calculus class, we're looking at this sign chart and we're talking about our graph is above the x-axis, below the x-axis, below the x-axis, above the x-axis. If we're in calculus, that if we're looking at that first derivative, we're looking for increasing, decreasing, decreasing, increasing. If we're looking at the second derivative, we're looking at concave up, concave down, concave down, and concave up. So a lot of really interesting, great things come from sign charts, and they're a really, really handy part of, of your um, math course, especially in pre-calculus and calculus.